What's up everyone? It's Jordan, the Lazy Ass Reefer. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys some pictures and share some tips and tricks from upgrading my VPAR Spectra black box LEDs to using the SB Reflight PCBs. And essentially all that is is um, SB Reflight sells uh, their LED boards, which you can retrofit pretty much any black box LED to use their LEDs. So if you have diode burnout or you just, you're not getting the coral growth that you want, you can use the SB Reef Spectrum, which is uh, tried and true and many people rave about. So first thing I noticed is when the package got to my house, on the side of the box it says PCB board with Chinese character underneath it. Now, I think what's going on here is that SB Reef uh, orders the boards from China, but then retrofits them with their own LEDs. And at least that's what I hope is going on here and that these boards aren't actually coming direct from China. As soon as I opened the box, or actually as soon as I picked up the box, I could hear something was rattling, which kind of made me a little bit nervous. But upon opening the box, it was evident that obviously some of the uh, lenses had come off, which at first um, I wasn't really impressed with. However, I realized that they're not glued on because they're, they're interchangeable. So I think it's uh, obviously a little bit natural that during shipping, some of these are going to pop off. But it's not something to be, be concerned about because they just snap back on and it's uh, not really anything major. So when I opened up the VPAR Spectra box, I was actually really blown away. Um, if you look at pictures of Mars Aqua or Galaxy Hydro, you can see that they're just a rat's nest. I mean, just cords everywhere, no organization. And with the VPAR Spectra, I mean, it was just really tidy and organized. They used zip ties to keep everything just decluttered. And overall, I was just really blown away because, you know, I was expecting the, uh, <clears throat> the rat's nest that you often see. And one thing I want to point out, as you'll see in this picture, I put the VPAR Spectra and the SB Reef Light uh, boards next to each other, and they are, for the most part, identical, uh, except for the fact that the VPAR Spectra has uh, heat sinks on top of them, which, uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to, you know, scientifically say if the heat sinks make a difference or not. Uh, it was I was under the impression that heat sinks you know would draw the heat away and help the fans dissipate that heat. Um, however, like I said, without a infrared you know heat gun, I I can't say for sure if they do or not. That would be very interesting to see though. Um, the other thing I noticed is when I put the uh, board side by side, it appeared as though that the SB Reflight board was only a hair thicker. And uh, I'm not really sure what I was expecting. However, I know on SP Reflight's website, they one of the features that they tout is that their boards are much thicker, which uh, is able to absorb and dissipate more heat. But I don't want to split hairs. Um, it's just something that I noticed that their board is uh, like a, just a fraction um, thicker. And I measured them, and they both were about 1 16th, with the SB board just being, like I said, a just a fraction um, thicker. So uh, removing the VPAR Spectra board itself is very easy. There's just a couple screws um, that you remove and then the board pops right out. However, I noticed that the connections on the SB Reflight board were different. There were two pins, um, just like the VPAR Spectra. However, they were a different shape. Uh, and so obviously they weren't going to be able to plug into each other. However, a really easy fix for this is just uh, split, you know, snipping off the VPAR Spectra connections and then snipping off the SB Reflight connections, and then just splicing on the VPAR Spectra connections, if that makes sense. I mean, you can see here in the picture, uh, basically all I did was just snip the wires, use a butt splice, and then I was able to use the, uh, the old connection, which fits. And I, you know, I'm not an electrician, I've never really done a project like this before, and I found it uh, fairly easy. You just have to really have to be careful and make sure to leave yourself enough room for the butt splice. You don't want to cut the uh, the Molex connection too short because then you're pretty much uh, SOL. So one thing that is a little bit frustrating is the uh, white and blue channels are not labeled. So unfortunately, you know, it's just pretty much a 50-50 chance. Um, one of my lights now has reverse channels. So channel one being white, channel two being blue. And then my other light is channel two is white and channel one is blue. So, and you know, I wasn't about to disassemble everything and redo it. So all I had to do was just change the, uh, you know, the timer settings and you know, that was pretty much it. 
So after I had the boxes buttoned back up and hanging over my tank, I definitely noticed that the SB Reflight uh, LEDs give out a more purple spectrum, which I personally like the purple more than just the, uh, the bright blue. And um, I guess in the end, all I really have to say is that the, uh, the, actually the LED arrangement and the colors are so similar to the VPAR Spectra that a part of me was kind of just like um, shocked with VPAR Spectra. I'm really impressed um, with their build quality and their LEDs. And I would say if someone was going to upgrade, I would probably wait until you had, you know, uh, some LEDs burn out uh, or just you start having flickering or whatever. Uh, to, you know, in my opinion, you know, I'll have to wait a little while to see how my corals um, grow, if there's any sort of, you know, you know, significant boost in growth. But overall, I'd have to say that it seems like black, uh, black box LEDs are really starting to get competitive as far as, like I said, their build quality, uh, their LED spectrums. And um, I would say if you already own the VPAR spectras and you're getting good growth, you know, in coloration and everything is just working fine, uh, as the saying goes, um, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I'm not disappointed necessarily. I'm still happy and I'm sure, you know, my corals are going to respond, but this is definitely an upgrade that could have waited. <laughs> you know, I just got the VPAR Spectros not too long ago and uh, turn around and spend another $120 on them. I guess in the long run just seems a little bit silly. Uh, but like I said, time will tell uh, to see how my corals respond. One thing that I definitely noticed is that um, the lenses seem to be a little bit more narrow. And I don't know if it's my imagination or my just my eyes playing tricks on me, but it seems like I have more shadowing. Like I'm just not getting as um, wide of a spread from the lights. So to remedy that, I'm going to raise my lights up and then potentially remove some of the uh, lenses from the LEDs, probably around the border and uh, just to get more of a like a 180 degree spread rather than just 90 degrees. So that's all I got for today. Um, like I said, I'll have to do more videos down the road to show the growth. And uh, like I said, I tried to explain everything as clearly as possible, uh, but in case there's something that's confusing or I didn't explain well enough, just uh, leave something in the comment section below and I will give you a detailed response and uh, offer any sort of guidance that I can. So if you like this video, I would really appreciate a uh, thumbs up. I tried to you know, make it as, a, as uh, informative and clear as possible. And if you want to see more videos like this and uh, specifically you know, the journey with my reef tank, just hit the subscribe button and then I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys.